from Nikon, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about the characteristics of phylum Polypera, its structure and function. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Phylum Polypera includes sponges. The members of phylum Polypera are porous or having pores on overall body surface. They are sessile or we can say that immobile or immotile that means they cannot move. They are attached to certain substrata. Their habitat is both marine or freshwater, commonly asymmetrical but if symmetry is present then they are radially symmetrical. They are very simple animals having no organs, mouth or gut cavity as proper tissue organization is absent in them, thus classified in a separate sub-kingdom known as Parazoa. The body structure is built around a system of water canals and chambers. The skeleton of most sponges consists of spongin fibers or spicules that are made up of calcium carbonate known as calcareous spicules or silicon dioxide that is siliceous spicules. Most of the sponges are hermaphrodite that means both the male and female gonads are present within the same animal or in some cases sexes are separate. Surprisingly, the internal fertilization takes place and embryonic development leads to a free-swimming flagellated larva and this stage is very important for species dispersal in sessile animals. On your screen, you can observe the diagram of partially sectioned sponge. The simple sponges are shaped like little vases or tubes. The internal cavity called atrium or spongy seal opens to the outside to a large opening at the top, the osculum. As the sponges are perforated, water that enters through pores is driven out of the spongy seal through the osculum, as you can observe in the diagram here. Only four basic types of cells are involved in the formation of the sponge. Pinacocytes are forming pinacoderm that is the outer surface of the sponge ball. Porocytes are forming pores that are giving the in-current flow of water. Conocytes create water current and filter food particles. These conocytes are known as collar cells and they are flagellated. Lastly, amoebocytes are there and they are involved in the asexual reproduction. That's why they are known as reproductive cells. Between the pinacoderm and chronocyte lies a layer of mesenchyme called mesohyle. This mesohyle contains amoebocyte cells or amoeboid cells of different types and it also contains spicules and spongin fibers embedded in it. These spicules and spongin fibers provide support to the sponge as they form the basic skeletal framework of a sponge. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about reproduction, water canal system, and grazer sponge structure, eschinoid, cyclinoid, euconoid type, then stay tuned. The video will be uploaded soon, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.